Howdy, howdy, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the uh, Eclectic Modeler YouTube channel. Um, this is going to be a two kit review on two resin kits I purchased from Jimmy Flintstone at jimmyflintstones.com. Um, the first one I'm going to show you I purchased uh, several months ago, uh, right around the time the CP101 appreciation build was announced. Um, it was going to be my build for that, but I changed my mind and uh, went with uh, something different. Uh, the second one that I'm going to show you, I purchased that kit at Wonderfest. I think I posted a couple pics on my Facebook page. So, let's show you the first one. This is the base for the Lily Monster uh, figure. Um, beautiful detail. I'm sorry for if it's washing out a little bit. It's the light here in my workshop. But, I mean, you can see the detail this way. I can, and it's just a little bit of flash to take care of. I mean, of course, you're going to have that with resin kits, but the, the detail is there. It's just, it's awesome. So that is the base. Here is the figure. Here is part of the figure. Um... Once again, the, the detail, the necklace, the um, snake uh, snake armband, um, the lines in her hair. I mean, even I mean the cheekbone. I mean, my camera's trying to pick it up as an actual face. Um, and of course, her she got some big ones there. Um, and uh, the legs and it's got one seam down the side I think it has another one down and eh, not really and then the uh, legs come separate and there's both legs are both in high heels and they will go up underneath her um, body when she's on the display base now when he sent me the, this one I had to wait a little while he was um he had the flu at the time so I had to wait a couple extra weeks for it which you know wasn't no big deal and, and he was very um forward and upfront with all his communication he notified me to tell me that he was sick you know and he, he kept me up to date which um was totally awesome um he sent me out a couple goodies along with it um the first one I'll show you here is the uh, one-eyed Frankenstein monster. <clears throat> I will probably take this one and uh, use it as a um, as a test bed for different colors and different effects and whatnot. Um, actually, make a pretty good shifter knob if you wanted to do that. And uh, the other one he sent me is this. Skull head with aviator glasses. Now this isn't on his website. This isn't the one that he's got showing with this kit. He didn't send me that. I figured he just might have. I don't know what the deal was, and um, which I was totally cool with, anyways. But while I was at Wonderfest, I did find this, and uh, he had this in a bin. I had bought the other model and was looking for this, and he helped me find it, and uh, he let me have it for nothing. I didn't even tell him that I was missing it from he pretty cool guy just to let me have it for nothing. And uh, this one has actually got the candle on the top, which I may try to drill a hole in and uh, try to light it. I think that would probably be a good effect. But that's all with the, uh, that's pretty much it with the Lily, uh, with the lily figure let's see here and you can't really it, my light washes it out too much the second model I got <clears throat> is pretty much just one piece uh, actually three pieces is the uh, Elvira mistress of the dark 
uh, figurine. Uh, once again, it's cast in resin. Uh, the detail on it is just amazing. I, I'm surprised at the detail on these kits. If you get the chance, purchase these kits or go to his website, check it out. He's got a lot of different other stuff there on his website. I'm um, definitely going to purchase more. She comes with a, she has a base. I didn't buy it. You have to buy it separately and he was out. And I just haven't gone back to his website to purchase the base for this one yet, but I am going to. Um, here are the arms and uh, you actually get a dagger with it too. And uh, once again, the detail, I mean the necklaces. And if I'm not mistaken, let me see something here real quick. I uh, know they're just uh, they're just supposed to be spikes. I actually thought those were little skulls, but no, they're just spikes. But once again, the, the detail on it is just amazing. I mean, even the uh, the texture of her hair, um, down to her, uh, you know, high heel high heel shoe. Got a seam running up the up the side here, but up along her hair, but. You know, that's easily enough to get out. And uh, that's it for both of these. I mean, that's all uh, that's, all that's entailed with these two kits. Um, I highly go recommend to go check out his website. Once again, it's at uh, jimmyflintstone.com, I believe. Um... Check him out. He's got a ton of different other products there too. Um, something for everybody. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll be back with another update on the uh, Munster's House later. And uh, I need to do another kit review on another model that I received the other day. So until next time, guys, uh, take it easy and uh, we'll see you.